well, obviously a captain and he was a bit of a fan. Um, I think the Brisbane game, Warner was in set um, they were miles ahead of the game and that was a difficult thing to do to attack with a field and I think in this situation you can afford to attack a little bit with Harris in particular and maybe tempt head to play a big shot. Do you think, do you think he needs more protection than, than you can have a show? You had the men around the back. Do you think he needs more protection to then bring them in? Yeah. Or do you think he needs people around him like an in and out? I think you start with the uh, protection and let him settle in, get a bit more confident. And then when he feels like he's bringing guys in and stuff, and you get a wicket, you know, then you can. He's, if he's confident, then he's got a chance. But I think sometimes you're not so confident, probably. Yeah. Just that he's starting now, which is uh, interesting, actually. Maybe oh, yeah. I don't think no one's changed then, but. Uh, we shall see. Yeah, yeah, very interesting. Yeah. I think the police is falling out. 131 for four as we go back to uh, a special guest with Simon in the commentary box. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. And Matt, yep, Merv Hughes is alongside me. He's uh, opening up after lunch. We've got two men out. Cardiff Fair. So Fairfield is out before lunch. Field. Joe Root saying uh, since he began the test match that he must attack too much. Field plays into two attacking men each came on. We were certainly defensive before lunch, but it's gone from four to two in terms of fillers in the deep. Well, that's not a great delivery. No. Jack Eatley knows it. Just swap it away. Short, short, wide, leg side. And hit away from Travis Head was a pretty brutal shot to be honest. And just got that gap from the boy gets back to square leg and uh, the man at 45 behind square there and travels to the boundary quite quickly. He knew it, he turned away straight away as soon as he delivered that ball. A gift for Travis Head. Just interesting timing, isn't it? They, they start with Ben back, you would think first over after a break. Just a, a little bit more aggression, so that mid on up. So just allowing him to single down the ground. Another run. And towards Long Old. We've seen the pace bowlers that dragged England back into the game this morning. One of the unwritten captaincy guidelines is to always start a session with your best two bowlers. And if you bowl a six over spell this morning, Back on the way, 28 runs in that morning session. The field for Harris is not dissimilar. The two men out. Seems to be less aggressive than Travis Head. He's away as well. He's run off the hip. Mark Wood was impressive this morning, wasn't he? Just really good pace, just that extra pace. Outstanding. The former fast bowler himself, he would enjoy that. Not quite as many verbals as you provide uh, for the batters down there. Byron, well, the game has changed in, in 20, 25 years, uh, without doubt. But a uh, really, really good first session, three wickets for the Englishman. And when they fought their way back into the contest, and if they pick up a couple of wickets in the first half hour, first 45 minutes after the lunch break, then that would give them a lot of confidence. There's no room here, as far as England are concerned, for a partnership. Yes. We need to keep shipping away. Australia, 48 runs uh, behind. The problem when you're dismissed for 185, and with a, a dabber, 147 there. Can't oh, keep pressure on. You need to keep on taking wickets. It's Wood from the members' end, first over after that's for him. Lockie Pudding tried to stop it. More runs for Australia. And that is a half century for Marcus Harris. Huge relief for him. Under pressure coming into this Boxing Day Test match. But they stuck with him. And they're standing out all around the MCG. And the pressure he was under. Third Test 50 for Marcus Harris in his 24th Test innings. It has been a struggle for him. Test career. Come good today. 
Yeah, that's been a struggle in uh, Victoria and adopted over from West Australia. Uh, so MCG in home ground. And we've had a couple of Shield matches here, or a Shield match here this year. Would have had a look at the, the conditions and played them pretty well. Big plus for Australia. The one question mark there, look at the side, has got run, Green's contributed, Youngster, Carey's done well. Well, that's the thing of the Australians too. Cameron Green, while he's done well with the ball, he hasn't really contributed with the bat, so he might get an opportunity today for that. Mark Harris. And that big thing about it too is, as I said, he's been under the pump, um, and, and this was a really important move for him. They is quite fine. Like it from Leach. Uh, 
on the left side with that hand long strike. Still the two men out. Three saying one. Should be with him as well. Is that a ball he's had, isn't it? Good line. And what he's got to try and do is encourage the left hand to hit against his bend, hit through that offside. That's why there's only three people there to encourage that. So he's got a ball off stump, just outside off stump. Three, what's the game? That's got to come a bit easier. That's all the back of that next stump line. Nudging it away for another run. As soon as it pitches out to the side of that stump, that's what you have it. Free swing. The pads are going to be in the road, and they can't be in the yeah, LW. Yeah, obviously, yeah. it's outside leg, so he needs to pitch the ball in line with the stumps. Mm -hmm. Changing the field here, mm -hmm. leg slip comes in. Man on the boundary. And then the trap is had. Man on the left side. That's three overs from Leach. It's been relatively straightforward for Australia's batters against him so far. I'd like to see him probably attack more, to be honest. 449. Straight after once. Straight after the break. Imagine he's going to try and get himself back in. But when you've got this defensive mindset of pushing blokes back, and if the batsmen are able to pick up singles, you're not putting them under pressure. But you bring that field up, uh, bowl a few dot balls, Two relatively young players in, in test match experience, you might just get a little bit of panic, but just dry them up, dry them up, and make them play that false shot. A little bit of wood. Wood. Love his aggression. Doesn't he just charge in time? He's, he's one of these momentum bowlers where, like a Brett Lee, like a Wacko Hughes, is that they get their pace from their runner. A lot of guys that are, are really strongly built that sort of angled in and, and probably Freddie Flintoff is one of those guys that just had power through shoulders to get that pace when he was going at hundred percent. But Wood just charges in. Just love his intention. I'm say that left side, Harris. He's a, a leading edge. And Wood's um like an aeroplane taking off, long straight run, which is building up the mess. Of course, he has increased his run up, really explosive short run up. It's starting to put a bit too much pressure on the body. He's trying to keep next to the run up. Well, the way he charges in, he wouldn't look out of place in that 100 metres being final in the Olympics, to be honest. He's a head of steam up. He's been pretty good in that life. Uh, like Harris, but you get to 59. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you start thinking about it. It's a spring cup going out. Right. Having all his own way. We saw that spring cup on there. Balls ago. We tried to leave side and yeah. went offside. And Woods just threw it in back. But the answer last, Woods could have quite easily had three or four wickets today. He's bowled really well. Drown myself. Woo hoo! Yay! Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
feel that much outright aggression from Marcus Harris. It was just so brilliant. Oh, she's speaking out. Character is in so far. It's a bit too quick for him, really. So he's, he's put where he's down, but he, he wants to push forward to him, but uh, he's getting trapped on the crease of the fair here. And 146, 146, 143, it's good consistent speed. He's been up around the 150 mark. Uh, so he's just not sure how accurate the speed gun is. He looks as though he's a bit quicker than that. that. Well, he's quicker than that. One hand off the bat, but found the gap and the chase with a knee. Two runs and second four. The combination there of, of mine and Lane Pleasant, it was a, a little bit full and the wider wash stance, so it just allows him to, to hit the ball and hit it with, with good conviction. Um, and again, just the off height point. You'd like to see him hitting it up. Possibly a little bit slower than that, so he's not really opening the place with that slide. There's a lower half on about it, but we've watched Marcus Harris over the last couple of years just get out that way continually. And there's the short one. Man actually went back just before that ball, so uh, telegraph that it was going to be short. And it comes up now, so you would think you'd just go back to. That length of hitting the top of the stump to try to upset Mark Harris's footwork here. And I think there's no need for that short one because he's doing that really well with the pace that he's bowling. He needs to come up and get back to square leg into the deepest leg gully. The rest of the group comes up with it. The short one. Stop. 
So the church is trying to work that behind square. We've got to be careful with that leak slipping the small place. And the Robinson has come back over. It's 157 for four. Let's come back from the break. There you go. And Mark Taylor will be your commentator. So we are connected. The next generation of missionaries, rule breakers, game changers. We were built to so the frustration to show the next generation of missionaries, rule breakers, game changers. We were built to perform on the biggest stages, so we certainly are here to do 
do what's been done before. And neither are we. At Palo Alto Network, we are ready to secure our digital future. We innovate to outpace cyber threats, so you can make the next phase safer than the one before. We've got next.
He did do that as well, a lot. You can't see that to it all, can you? Thank you. 